Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on powers and roots. We're just going to look at a couple of example questions in this video. So starting with this one example where we have multiplication. So we have to write 5p squared q cubed times 3p q to the 4 in its simplest form. So let's just rewrite the expression. 5p squared q cubed times 3p cubed to the power 4. So uh, let's just break this up into its individual terms. So we're going to have uh, 5 times 3. And then we're going to multiply the p's together. So we've got p squared times p, and we've got q to the 3 times q to the 4. So anytime you have an expression written like this, uh, this essentially means 5 times p squared times q cubed, but we don't bother putting the multiplication symbols in. So we can just reorder the expression because everything is multiplied together here. Uh, so let's put some brackets around each part just so it makes it more clear. Uh, so we've got 5 times 3 first of all, which is 15. Then we're multiplying this by p squared times p. So we use the multiplication law here to add the powers. So p uh, is just p to the power 1. So p squared times p is p cubed. And then we have q cubed times q to the 4. So again, we add the powers. So we get q to the 3 plus 4, which is q to the 7. So the simplified uh, expression then is 15 p cubed q to the power 7. So moving on then, let's have a look at another example. This time we have a multiplication and a division. So we have to work out the value of 3 to the power 4 times 3 to the power 7 over 3 to the power 8. So I'm just going to rewrite the expression down here. 3 to the 4 times 3 to the 7 over 3 to the 8. Now with uh, bid mass, with fractions, what we do is treat the numerator and the denominator separately. So we'll do, deal with the numerator first. So we've got 3 to the 4 times 3 to the 7, which is 3 to the 4 plus 7 and we're dividing that by 3 to the 8. So simplified, this is equal to 3 to the 11 over 3 to the 8. Uh, so let's just bring this working down to here. Uh, so 3 to the 11 over 3 to the 8 is 3 to the 11 divided by 3 to the 8. Now we can use the division law here. Uh, so with the division law, we subtract the power uh, from the other one, so we end up with 3 to the 11 minus 8. This is in the first video if you want to check that out. Uh, but this simplifies to 3 cubed, which is equal to 27. So the simplified expression, or the value of this expression, sorry, is just 27. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to practice some exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked, so you can keep track of where you're going wrong and where you can improve for your exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.